What's up guys, we go back with another real versus fake video. Today we're going really in depth to see how to identify and spot an AirPods Pro 2 clone. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy. The goal of this video is to help you find out if you have accidentally purchased a clone rather than original or if you're planning to buy a new one or a used one um, online such as on Facebook Marketplace. Subscribe and stay tuned for a part 2 coming out soon where we'll be comparing the specs, the sound quality, the microphone test and much more to the brand new version 5.2 H2S Ultra. First and foremost, the thing about AirPods Pro clones is that there are many different models or versions, however you want to call it. So just to show you right here on the desk, we do have different models as you can see all over right here. Only this one is the original. So basically these ones will have different chipsets, different motherboard. So it's really confusing sometimes to know if you have the original ones or if you have a clone. For instance, here's a list of a few clones that exist. Obviously there are some other models that are cheaper or that have similar specs that are not in the list. But just to give you an example, here is just a few. So usually the price for the AirPods Pro clones usually ranges between 25 to 60 dollars depending on the quality one thing to know about the packaging is that it can be different from seller to seller even if the seller sell the same product meaning that it contains the same chipset motherboard and most components it doesn't mean that the packaging will be identical they'll use whatever they have in stock so that means that some sellers may have the packaging that is higher quality in terms of the thickness of the cord board, though once again, do you know that it doesn't affect the quality of the actual product. The originals from Apple will always for sure be higher quality in terms of the box. So here's a few things that you can do. The main thing you can look at is the serial number on the actual box, so that sticker right here, and also the serial number on the actual product. You can also look at the box to see if there are any misspelling words. Usually there is not. Now just to show you guys quickly here, obviously on the left side is going to be the original box from Apple and both of these are clones. These are not real Apple boxes. These are copies. And if you do look at the originals, usually the writings is really clear compared to the copies and also the pull tabs is usually straight. On the clones, it might actually be sometimes crooked. They're not obviously as professional as Apple and obviously they don't take that into account. So if you look closely right here, once again, the left side is the original and the right is the copy. If you have a look at the image of the actual AirPods, the AirBuds, you can see that the original is really high quality. It's always easier to see it in person than in a video. But on the right side, it's a little bit more low end quality in terms of the quality of the image. And here's just to show you the Apple logo on the top is the original ones and on the bottom is the copy. You can see that the original ones is always centered at the box. Sometimes the clones will be a little bit more to the left side or to the right side. But obviously sometimes for sure it could be also in the middle. But you can also see the quality of the Apple logo. It's very similar, they really try to replicate. Now if you look at the bottom of the box, you can see that originals do have a higher quality image of charging case. Compared to the copy, it is a little bit more washed out. And also if you guys like these cases right here, you can find the link down in the description where you guys can check these out. They're pretty cool and also pretty high quality. Another tip that I have will be checking if the cover of the box slides out easily. It's always easier to open the box of the originals as it tends to just slide out and open. So here once again is the original box. As you can see, it slides out really easily just like this without any issues. In contrast to the clones, they usually are harder and have a tighter seal which makes it difficult to get it open. As you can see, you really have to shake the box. And here is another clone once again. It doesn't just slide out. You have to really use some force to shake the box to get it open. It's a little bit more difficult. If you do have a quick look at the pamphlet right here, you can see that the originals do sit perfectly fine in the box. It doesn't really move compared to the clones. It usually doesn't sit really well, it doesn't fit really well. As you can see, and this is the other copy. In terms of what you get in the box, once again, the leftmost side is going to be the originals and these are going to be the fake ones. So on the left side, of course, we will get the little packet that is very clean, as you can see. And here is going to be the first copy. As you can see, not as clean. It is not as professional in terms of the little packet. Obviously, once again, you do not pay as much attention as Apple. And here's going to be the second copy. 
Now if I pull out the original user manual, and here is the copy, you can see that the font of the AirPods Pro on the originals is a little bit more bolder. Here is going to be the second clone. This one, they've made it really close, so it's really extremely hard to tell. Other than that, the original will have a really thick plastic, and most clones, and like for most sellers, pretty much, they have a really, really thin plastic. So this is an easy tell to know if you have purchased a clone. On the originals, you will have the tray, which is made of cardboard. In most clones, you will either have the thin or really hard, thick plastic. So this is a thick plastic, it's not actually cardboard. Some other sellers may actually start using some cardboard for the tray to hold the AirPods. So this is a cardboard, as you can see. For the engravings, do note that the way it looks may differ from seller to seller. The original AirPods Pro 2s are produced in both China and in Vietnam. Here, as you can see, is the original AirPods Pro 2s from Apple with the engravings that says Design Babylon California, assembled in China. Here is going to be a copy. The hinge is identical on this model. It is one to one in terms of the material used. It has the same matte hinge, but the engravings, as you can tell, is a little bit more darker. When identifying a clone, if you look under both earbuds and under the lid, you will typically see that the engravings will have the same serial number. So if we do have a look at the serial number on the lid and also on each of the earbuds, you can see that it is identical. Though if you go to Bluetooth settings of the AirPods, you will see that it's supposed to have three different unique serial number. So here's going to be the serial number of the charging case. If you tap right here, it is the serial number of the left side. And here's going to be the serial number of the right side. So once again, this is one way to identify if you have fake AirPods. But of course, some factories have also replicated the engraving serial number on the left side and also on the right side. So don't just once again base on this concept. So these are little details that some of us do miss out when trying to buy an used AirPods at a cheaper, more affordable price. Now, if you get to test the product, that would be the best way to identify if they're real or fake AirPods. Since the clones do not have the adaptive audio or conversation awareness features so as you can see here is the original apple airpods pro 2s and in the bluetooth settings we do have adaptive audio if you pull down the control center right here hold on the volume control as you can see right here we do have conversation awareness and also adaptive audio and then once again this only works on the original ones on the clones some models do have the same pop-up but it does not work at all so on a few models of clones they may appear to be there but it's mainly there for show the actual features do not work at all maybe in the future they may be maybe in the future they may evolve and have those functions though we're not entirely sure when that's gonna happen. I would say one of the easiest way to authenticate your AirPods Pro 2s is by charging them. You can do this by plugging and charging your AirPods using an original charging cable from Apple or using a third party one such as Ugreen or Anchor, as long as it is certified. So here I got the USB-C model. I'm currently using the USB-C to USB-C Ugreen fast charging cable. Once it starts charging, you'll see the orange LED. You usually see the same orange LED on the clones. After a couple of seconds, the LED should fade away. On some clones, the LED will either stay turned on or fade away as well, just like the original ones. Once the LED fades away, you can give it a little tap on the case. And as you can see, the LED does turn on for a couple of seconds. Note that only the original is capable to do this. None of the clones that I've seen so far is actually able to do this so this is one of the easiest way to confirm if you have an original or not so one thing that the clones don't have is icloud sync for those who don't know what this feature is it's basically a feature that allows you to pair your original airpods to let's say your iphone you then don't need to repair again to a second new device so any of the apple devices like an iphone an ipad a macbook as long as your Apple devices are connected to the same Apple ID. You could just connect them without the hassle to repair them like other standard non-Apple branded Bluetooth earbuds. So I'm going to show you a quick example. Here's the iPhone. Here's the iPad. Here is the original AirPods Pro 2s. So I'm going to connect to my iPhone. So I do receive the pop-up animation. Hold the parent button until it says connecting. And once again, do note that the Bluetooth is turned off on my iPad. If we do slide down the control center, as you can see, I can connect. 
my original AirPods Pro 2s. So there we go. Let's close Bluetooth on here and turn on Bluetooth on my iPad. Do note once again that I have not connected or paired to my iPad Pro. So once again, Bluetooth is turned on, click right here, tap on the AirPods, and as you can see, it connects to the iPad without any issues. So yes, guys, this is how we identify our spot in AirPods Pro 2 clones. I hope this video did help some of you guys before you made your purchase. And of course, if you did enjoy watching this video, make sure to give a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. If you haven't already, I got much more content coming soon. Other than that, if you do actually have questions concerning clones, concerning if you have to spot an original, make sure to comment below in this video. And of course, you can join my Discord, ask me questions over there as well. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys very soon. Peace out.